Hey, this is Nerdy Geek Talk with uh, me, Nightwolf, and Nerdy Geek Talk is our channel where we post videos, podcasts, and reviews, and all sorts of nerdy and geeky stuff. And so, today we have Aramis Prime as well. Uh, hi, I'm Aramis Prime. I'm your host for Cyber Talk, which is our podcast on Transformers and all Transformers news. This week, we're going to be talking about uh, Titan Class Combiner Wars Devastator, the Wave 4 of Combiner Wars, the Autobots, Combiner Wars Bruticus, Victorion, Skylynx, Computron, Titan Wars, and also how next year, Beast Wars and the 1986 Transformers movie are having anniversaries. And possible figures that could be with that. Our first topic is going to be Titan Class Devastator. So everyone is very, very excited for Titan Class Devastator, and for good reason, because, oh, does that thing look great. There have been so many third-party Devastators, and all of had their perks and their faults, and by no means is Titan Class Devastator faultless, but he looks really good. Really excited for him. Um, should be getting him within the next week and a half or so. We'll have a review post of him as soon as we can. Um, and that'll be the Hasbro version. I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting the Takara one also for the individual robots to display and then have the Hasbro for the Devastator mode. We'll see, but also there are third-party upgrade kits for him, and what they're really- it's from Perfect Effect, which has been doing really, really solid combiner upgrade kits with the hands and feet and also the Superion and Menasaur kits that will be out soon. But they're doing two sets for Devastator. <clears throat> One is for the Constructicons. And it's elbows for... I forget which ones. I know Long Haul, Scrapper, because they actually don't have elbow joints at all. And then it upgrades, I think, Mixmaster and... Is it, let's see. I know it upgrades Mixed Masters, so that way they look better too. Oh, and also Hooks, because they have really strange looking elbows, so it it makes them look more natural and also gives them wrist swivel, and then it gets Scrapper and Long Haul actual elbows that bend, and also wrist articulation. And it also comes with six weapons for the Constructicons, to, because they don't come with their own weapons, so it gives them the G1, the... 80s weapons that they all had, all six of them. The other upgrade set coming from them is the their PC-06, which is their perfect combiner upgrade set for Devastator as a whole. It comes with an, um, a better truck cab for Mixmaster for the foot, so the foot looks bigger. It comes with <coughs> articulated hands. It also comes with an upgrade for the crane for hook. Uh, so it extends, and also the excavator for scavenger, it has a bigger and more articulated one. And what's really interesting about this set is, well, there's also kneecaps, but what the really interesting thing is the Prowlistator, is what fans like to refer to as when Prowl combined with the Devastator. And this has a set where it puts a tiny little Prowl head on the top instead of the Devastator head, and then it has the Prowlistator head over top, which looks awesome. Oh, there's also arm extensions to make his arm looks big, arms look bigger. But I know many fans have been saying, ever since this was announced, Titan Class Devastator, that some third party was going to do Prowlistator, and they, were they right. actually did. <laughs> so, for those of you who aren't familiar with Devastator, if you don't know much about Transformers, I guess, he's about, how tall? About, like, 18 inches is the yeah. Titan class figure. So he's pretty big. So. Uh, he's the second Titan class figure to ever be released. The first being Metroplex. He comes up to about Metroplex's chest. He's not meant to be the same size as Metroplex because they're obviously not in scale with each other. And Metroplex turns into a city. So, as you imagine, that'd be a little bigger than Devastator. But 
The only bad thing about the Perfect Effect upgrade with the Prolocator, it's awesome that they have the head, but they don't have Hook going down to become a leg instead of, sc of Scrapper and Prowl being the torso. They just have the head over top. So Scav Scrapper is still the leg, which some people may be disappointed by because in the comics he was dead and that's why Hook became the leg and Prowl became the head. Um, so next we have the Autobot Masquerade Wave and they're not really the Autobot Masquerade because they're all, well except for Mirage, it's Wave 4 of Combiner Wars, which the Voyager class is Starcon, well, not Starcon Void. It's uh, an Optimus Prime repaint, repainted white and kind of Nova Primus colors, and also has a Star Convoy head, which is cool. I like it. I'm personally going to use it as a Nova Prime for my collection because we only have two options for Nova Prime, and that's the Collector's Club Deluxe, and I want a Nova Prime that's bigger than the Deluxe, although that does look very nice. And the third party, Hyper Novi, that thing is very expensive, as much as I want it. But this will be a good placeholder until I'm able to eventually get that, if I do. But the Deluxes in that wave are Ironhide, who is a repaint with a new head of off-road there's prowl who is a repaint with a new head of streetwise sunstreaker which is a repaint with a new head of breakdown and mirage which is a repaint with a new head of drag strip um out of all of these i'm really looking forward to sunstreaker uh but I really like Mirage, too, just because the drag strip mold is very solid. Prowl should be great. And then, I mean, who... I'm just disappointed that Ironhide has an axe. They didn't give him a new weapon. Um, I don't even ever recall Ironhide ever using an axe. They just repainted the gray... They just repainted uh, Off-Road's axe gray. He's always the gun gun. Yeah, he always has cannons, so uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but the figure looks pretty good overall. Um, but what I, the real thing is, it's supposed to be an homage to G1, where Optimus Prime, Mirage, who else? Jazz, Wind Charger, and can't remember the last one. Oh, Sideswipe. They were able to merge. They didn't actually combine, but they were able to they disguise themselves as the Stunticons and try to infiltrate the Decepticons, and then whenever the real Metasaur came back, Megatron ordered the Autobots who were opposing as them to combine. And they actually were able to, due to the devices they had, and they were able to cloak themselves to look like Metasaur, and eventually they, they were discovered. But still, that's what this set is supposed to be an homage to. Um... So, I'm kind of disappointed that uh, the only real one from that team is Mirage. Uh, it's it's good, though, that they're branching out and trying to do something original, though. But I, I do like the homage in general. Um, so, next... Oh, Bruticus. Yeah, next is Bruticus, and... Oh, wait, wait, no. First, the Wave 4 Legends are Legends Skywarp, which looks good if you collect the Legends Cost Seekers. I never got in on the Starscream, so I didn't get Thundercracker, and I'm not going to get Skywarp. I do plan on getting the Leader Class Seekers, though. Um, but they all look very nice. I think Starscream's supposed to be the Leader Class for that wave, and he comes with the Crown, which is nice. I plan on getting that. All three of the leader class seekers. But Rodimus is the other wave for Legends, and he's supposed to be the chest plate for Optimus Maximus, which is the Autobot Combiner. And it's just a repaint of Blackjack with a head, but I really like how the axe is able to be like the wings on the back of the car in his vehicle mode, which I think looks very Rodimus Prime esque. So, I mean, it's cool. I do plan on getting Rodimus, not necessarily to combine, but I just want a Legends Rodimus, and especially because of how articulated Blackjack was, 
it's just it's a it looks like it's gonna be a solid figure. Um. So next we will talk about Bruticus and the Combaticons. So Bruticus is actually going to be all five of the original Combaticons. And I don't know. There's onslaught looks amazing. He's a very very huge retool of Hotspot. And it, they actually did a 180, literally, and they turned the vehicle mode around. And what was the back of Hotspot is the front of Onslaught, uh, because of how much retooling they did. And he looks very, very nice to me. There's also Vortex, who is a straight-up repaint of Alpha Bravo, I believe. I don't think he has a new head. Um, then, so that's the left arm. The left leg is Brawl. Brawl is an all-new original mold, which looks really good, I think. I, I'm not going to complain about it, like, at all, because I'm just, I was surprised we got a new mold. I figured Brawl was going to be retooled look, which, actually, one of the other members is. Swindle, the right leg, is a retool of Rook. Now, I really, really think the Rook mold looks like the best out of all of Combiner Wars. I just don't know how it's going to look on Swindle size-wise for scale, because Swindle, Swindle is supposed to be like the smallest of the uh, Combaticons, and Rook is one of the bigger figures, so that's why I'm a little on the fence about him, but he does look really great by himself, at least. Um, for the right arm. This is what all the controversy over Bruticus is. Blastoff is not a rocket ship, and he is not even a new head. He is a straight-up repaint of the Quick Slinger mold, which is really slingshot for the aerial bots. Technically, we've never gotten a full retail release of this figure, because Quick Slinger was available as an online exclusive with Breakneck, who is Wild Rider, for it to complete G1, Menasaur, and Superion, instead of having Offroad and uh, Alpha Bravo. I think it's a very... That's a good mold. It was originally Firefly, but they're using this quick, quick Slinger head. And I mean, it looks good, but it just... It's weird to have Onslaught... Not having a mouth, honestly. He usually has a faceplate. But it's weird to have him having a a mouth, and it's just really cheap of them, but I don't really care about the rocket, them not having him be a space shuttle, not a rocket, um, because he originally, I mean, he's in the Combaticons, and a space shuttle isn't really a combat vehicle, a fighter jet is, that makes sense, but, eh, I really don't like what they did, how they did it, I mean, mm, could have been better. Um, but then the Legends class for Bruticus is actually Shockwave, and I am very, very happy about this because it means we're getting a Shockwave that actually is, um, a gun. He doesn't even have another mode, like Power Glide turned into a plane and a gun, and that's good because Power Glide originally turned into a plane in G1. But he, Shockwave turned into a gun in G1, and we haven't gotten a figure of Shockwave that turned into a gun since... An official one. I know we've gotten third-party ones, but I don't think we've gotten one since the 80s. Um, but this one, the Legends class, he turns into a gun, and he's supposed to be the gun for Bruticus, which is nice. But I'm kind of hoping that Bruticus gets his own weapon. I'm, I'm not sure if he will or not. Eh, we'll see. Um, but overall, I'm very, very happy with... The, the Bruticus overall. He just looks to be a very solid combiner, and he, especially since he's using what most people say is the best torso figure as the Voyager, the combined mode just looks really, really good. Now, apparently there's going to be two different colored releases of it. I'm not, I don't know if this is officially confirmed, but I know there are two different colored versions shown off. And one has the gray chest, one has a somewhat brown chest. It's interesting. I'm not sure if we. I'm not sure what version is getting released where. I think Gray will get released at mass retail since that's G1. 
but we'll see. We honestly, we don't know at this point. Um, so that's wave one of 2016, which means it'll probably be out in, like, December, so in time for Christmas, probably, Rubicus. Wave two of 2016 is very, very interesting. It consists, it's Sky Rain is the combiner. The reason it's called Sky Rain is because the torso is Sky Lynx. And Sky Lynx, we have not gotten an updated version of since the 80s. Now, the name was reused a couple of years ago for Beast, no, Predacons Rising as one of the Predacons. But we haven't gotten a real Sky Lynx, like an actual, another version of the real character updated. We haven't got it updated at all. So... It's very, very nice to see that they're releasing a Voyager class version of him. I am very excited for that. That was well, the major surprise for me at uh, BotCon this year. But his team consists of Trail Cutter, well, Trail Breaker, Trail Cutter, whichever you call him, who has his gun hand, and it looks nice. It's an off road repaint again, I believe. I think. I don't think it's first aid repaint with the new head. I'm pretty sure it's off road. But. Other one is Hound, who's a repaint with new head of Swindle, who's a remold of Rook. There's also Smokescreen, who's a repaint of Prowl, just a straight up repaint because he's the same head as Prowl, which is a remold of, no, it's a repaint of uh, Streetwise, which was a remold of Dead End. So basically it's Dead End, but remolded. And. What is the last one? Can't think of it. Let me check. But I mean, overall, the combiner looks really, really solid. I mean, I'm looking forward to all the individual members, but... Oh, Wheeljack. Wheeljack's the other one. He's a retool of Breakdown. And it looks... I actually am surprised by how wheel jacky it wheel jacky it looks um for being a retool of breakdown like I I didn't see that coming. I knew that he was in the listings, a deluxe wheel jack was in the listings in retail, but I didn't I didn't know what to expect from it and seeing that it's actually a retool it's a surprising retool. It it looks like wheel jack to me. Um oh, but Skylinks he doesn't have two alt modes anymore because he's a combiner now, so now he's just a space shuttle. But he has an extra feature, which is now combining. I think the combiner looks pretty cool. It has like a sphinx head. I don't know, I'm not. I'm not sure what it is. But it looks it. It's definitely an original. It looks very cool though to me. I look forward to getting it. But, I mean, I understand why some people wouldn't like it. The Legends class for that is supposed to be Rekgar, who's a repaint of Groove with a new head. Um, it hasn't been shown how he'll be used yet, but I'm assuming he'll peg onto the chest, because he doesn't turn into a gun as Groove. But, that might be what the hole and peg are on the side of Groove's legs, because he previously didn't have one before. He, he wasn't used before. He had it before, but it wasn't used, so that's probably what those parts are for. Um, so next we have Victorion, and Victorion is the fan voted on combiner, and she she is a she. Uh, we have five woman transformers, if I'm right. Uh, actually six. <laughs> well, Her. like she's five, and then she's probably gonna have yeah a, a target master. I'm not sure if she's gonna have her. Uh, it's unclear as to whether her Legends class, part, like, female, the sixth member, will be a chest plate or a weapon. Um, the torso is supposed to be Hot Spot, I believe, a remold, or a repaint, not sure. I'm pretty sure from the art we've seen, it's going to be a heavy remold, which I'm very happy about, because I'm all for, for all the heavy remolds we've gotten, uh, like a reshell, because it's basically like getting a new figure, it just transforms the same way, it doesn't have like any of the same parts. So the hotspot reshell should be great. Um, the two arms are going to be Alpha Bravo remolds or repaints, not sure. I love that mold, so I will gladly take them. 
And it's supposed to be two race cars, I believe, as the limbs. It looks like one is supposed to be... Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I'm not sure. Uh, uh... Oh, yeah, okay. So it says they're cars. I think one's supposed to be a truck. And one's supposed... To... I think it looks like one's going to be a dead-end slash streetwise remold. The other might be an off-road? Either off-road breakdown... Doesn't look like drag strip though. Um, hmm, that's interesting. the The picture is very non. It doesn't really give away what the legs are, which are the guns. But oh, it is confirmed that her sixth partner is a motorcycle, which should be a chest plate. Then I'm assuming. That's what I would think. Um, what other legends are there? We're also getting Legends uh, Pipes, who's going to be a repaint of Puffer, who was a, a repaint with a new head of Prime, Legends Prime. So that looks good. We're also getting Leader Skywarp for 2016, probably. But all that's interesting, but that's probably not going to happen until later. It's possible Victorion will either be Wave 5 or 6 of 2015, or Wave 3 or later of 2016. Now, a lot of people are wondering about Computron, because Computron was listed in retail computer bases. Um, so, Computron for Combiner Wars will probably be released in 2015. It'll, I'm 90% certain it'll be unveiled at San Diego Comic-Con this year. Which um, is... July 9th, I believe, is the panel. That's the so first day of San Diego Comic-Con. I believe July 9th is going to be the panel, which is Thursday. So we may do some special episode or something of a bunch of mishmash information from Comic-Con, but we'll have to see what comes up there. So we'll, we'll be looking into that, but I think Computron is going to be unveiled as either Wave 5 or 6. If Victorion, Victorion the figure, is going to be shown off at San Diego, San Diego Comic-Con, too. So, Victorion, if she's Wave 5 of 2015, I bet Computron will be Wave 6. If Computron is Wave 5, then I bet she will be Wave 6. But it is possible that Victorion will be released in 2016, which means Wave 5 could be Computron, and Wave 6 would be Abominus. Um... Now, we haven't seen listings for Abominus yet that I know of, but it I don't feel that it makes sense to have Superion and Menasaur, who are counters to each other, and then have um, Defensor and Bruticus, who are counters to each other, and then not have Computron with Abominus. We are very sure we're getting Computron, but I'm, I'm really hoping that we get Abominus, because... That would just be really nice. I, I personally really like Abominus, and I think that if we got an Abominus, we could possibly get the Predacons, who would be Predacon. Um, I don't know how likely this is, but seeing as how we have Skylinks, and Predacon and Skylinks are enemies, I see it as a good opportunity, if we get new molds for Abominus, to retool those into a Predacon. It could be hard, but I think it's possible. Um, and that way we'd have rivals for... Abominus would be the rival for mm -hmm. Computron, and Predaking would be the rival for Skylinks or Sky Rain now, since Skylinks combines. Um, now, what comes after a Combiner Wars is what a lot of people are asking. We're not quite sure when Combiner Wars is going to end, but it'll probably be some point next year, in 2016. We don't know what the plans are for certain, but, but... It could be Titan Wars? Titan Wars is what we've seen, like, blueprints, not really, not official blueprints, but, like... Lots of rumors. Well, it's not even necessarily... Well, it's a lot of speculation based on stuff that they showed off. Artwork, which is, like, if you buy any of the Combiner Wars figures, the deluxes, behind the comic books is a bunch of, like, designs of the characters. And... I, it really looks like well, they showed it off at BotCon. There's going to be a Fortress Maximus Titan class, which would be absolutely great because that could mean he'll be taller than Metroplex and reclaim his title as the tallest Autobot ever and Transformer ever, period. 
but it looks like he might actually have be a slight remold of Metroplex. And by slight remold, I mean I think he's taking very small parts from Metroplex. It looks like the front of his forearms, they took that, that's it, and then also some of the side of the shin, but it's also remolded to suit Fortress Maximus' base mode, I'm pretty sure. But Fort Max is also supposed to have uh, the Headmaster Cerebros, and Cerebros' Headmaster will be Spike, and those were also shown in the designs too, which looks very, very cool. Leader Class Blaster was also shown off. Oh, which by the way, I forgot to say, one of the Legends class for the other figures, one of the Legends class for that we have announced is Buzzsaw, who turns into a smartphone slash, like, iPod device, which is probably going to go into Soundwave's chest as a leader class, because we're going to get leader class Blaster, who will also probably be announced at San Diego Comic Con, who turns into a cassette player, which is awesome. Can't wait for that. He's supposed to be a headmaster too, which is very interesting. And he has a base mode, which is supposed to be like a DJ stand. So that should be cool. Um, very interesting to see that, well, that he's a headmaster because Blaster never was before. But also on the artwork was what a lot of people are speculating could be Astro Train. I don't know whether Astro Train, if it even is Astro Train, is going to be Leader or Voyager class, but I would really like it. It's also supposed to be a Headmaster, and seeing as how many they're doing so many Headmasters now, I think that might be a key part of Titan Wars. That be, might be the next phase that they're going into. Um, I personally thought that they did well with Brainstorm. I hope if we're going into Headmasters, we get a Chrome Dome to go along with Brainstorm, since we're definitely going to be getting a Rewind for Blaster as a cassette. So that would help a lot with my Lost Light collection shelf. Um, but I mean, I'm interested to see what they'll do after moving on from Combiner technology. I think Headmasters and Power Masters is a good way to go. Headmasters, if you don't know, turn into their little robots or people, depending on the fiction, that turn into the head of the Transformer. And they control it. Yes. Um, Power Masters are little robots that turn into guns for the Transformers. Or, is that Target Masters? Uh, anyways. That's Target Masters, not Power Masters. Sorry. Beast Wars is having its 20 year anniversary in 2016. It is very likely we will be seeing some Beast Wars figures next year, especially Maybe because- Maybe Tigatron. Especially because the comics have already shown, so that have been solicited, have already shown Tigatron, and it's supposedly said that Air Razor is going to make an appearance, which makes sense if we're going to have Tigatron, of course we're going to have Air Razor. Um, personally, I've been dying for a Tigatron figure for quite some time, so I hope we get some of the other Beast Wars characters updated, because we've gotten the the really good ones we've gotten are Rhinox, Rat Trap, and Waspinator in the last couple of years. We've also gotten Cheetor and Dinobot, but they were eh. Um, Not nearly as good. Beast Wars, Megatron, and Leader Class Megatron, and Optimus Primal, both have withstood the test of time. I think we could use a new Megatron. Honestly, I don't need a new Optimus Primal mold, and seeing as how they're making Masterpiece Optimus Primal next year, I don't think they'll make a new mold for him, since he's already getting one. The Masterpiece will probably suffice. Um, but I don't know how well the Masterpiece will scale, so I'm kind of hoping we get just a reissue of the Optimus Primal Leader class. That'd be good with me, especially because it's just a really solid figure overall. Um, maybe Terrorsaur would be a good one to get an update of. I know Tarantulas just got an update in Collector's Club, they just released a figure of him. But, I mean... Those guys really deserve... Beast Wars is one of my favorite um, continuities, so... Very classic. It's just, it comes right after G1 for me. I really, really enjoy it. Um, so I really hope we get some new figures. I'm really hoping for Tigatron. It'd be cool if Tigatron and Air Razor could combine into Tigerhawk, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I mean, seeing as how we have Combiner Wars... And it, going into Titan Wars, Titan Wars could still have combiners in it because so it's very possible. It could be. It's a possibility. I doubt it'll happen, but it's possible. That'd It'd be, be cool. cool. <laughs> um, 
but the 1986 Transformers movie is going to have its 30th anniversary next year, too. G1! So, that means we could very, very likely be seeing a leader-class Galvatron, maybe an updated Rodimus, because the last Rodimus we got, well, not counting the Legends, because that's not very Rodimus-looking, um, was several years ago in this two-pack with Deluxe Cyclonus and Hot Rod, and that Hot Rod really needs an update. Not too bad, I have it, it's okay, but we could really use a new Rodimus Prime. Especially in a bigger class. Um, but, I'm just hoping for a new Scourge, Galvatron, we just got Voyager class Cyclonus for Combiner Wars, but I'd prefer to get another one, it's possible. We could see the whole cast updated. I don't know how likely it is we'll see the whole cast updated, but... I know some of them are still good, like Cup has a really good deluxe that, well, not really good, but a, a decent deluxe that's still out. Very good. Um, Perceptor has a great deluxe. There are several of them that could use updates. I don't know how many we're actually going to get, though. Um, so, I mean, I'd like to see all of them. I know we aren't. I really want Blur, because we haven't gotten Blur in forever. But, I mean, we'll see. Um, so we'll probably have more news on what they reveal at San Diego Comic-Con later this week on Thursday. Um, Thursday, you... Friday. We'll, we'll, we'll put it up as soon as we can. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to Nerdy Geek Talk. Uh, this has been Aramis Prime and, and Nightwolf. Night Make sure to check us out on nerdygeektalk.wordpress.com where we will be posting videos, maybe articles, uh, lots of stuff we do. Um, we should, uh, make sure to check out Keep Posted for later this week. Uh, I should have Movie Mania up, which will be my one, once a month show about movies. So, thanks. Oh, we'll see you then. also, if you would like to see video reviews of Transformers, any specific ones, let us know. We're probably, we are definitely going to be doing one of Titan Class Devastator as soon as we get it, so we can get that out to you guys, because we know you want to see it. Very soon, very um, soon. If you want to see any of the Wave 3 figures, just let us know, comment, or send us a message. Either way, um, if you want it, we'll post it, we'll make one. Um, whatever you guys want us to do for videos, just let us know. We're open, we really want to get as much stuff out as possible. So, I mean, uh, so. let us know what you want. It's for you guys. So, thank right. you very much. Aramis Prime and Nightwolf, thanks for listening.